Oh, the liberal media. When will they stop with their incessant and blatant spinning? After the Mueller report was released on Thursday. It appears as though the media went into serious disaster management after word was received that there really was no collusion between Team Trump and the Russians. Free Trump slash Melania commemorative coin. Get yours today so what was the focus of the myriads of reporters faced with this dilemma? Impeachment. Yawn. And just how many times did they utter that silly phrase question mark 309 times? As reported by Newsbusters, although the Mueller report did not recommend any charges against the president, liberal journalists on cable and broadcast networks spent Thursday suggesting to audiences that impeachment was imminent, if not inevitable. Throughout Thursday afternoon and Friday morning, liberal talking heads on cable and broadcast news networks mentioned impeachment an astonishing 309 times during their coverage the of the newly released Mueller report. Are you serious? 309 times. You would think that after the Mueller report, a phrase with that high of a number of utterance would be no collusion. Vote now. Do you agree with Trump's strong support for the Second Amendment? But leave it to the Democrats to focus on damage control, rather than the truth. So which media outlets feel it necessary to do such shameless spinning, according to Newsbusters? In total, the word came up 309 times, with the vast majority, 286, coming from cable network CNN, 148, and MSNBC, 138. This study looked only at the 18 hours of regular daily programming thus excluding any coverage that took place between midnight and 6 a.m. EDT Friday morning. An updated count of the full 24 hours is pending. Those numbers also did not include cases in which the term was uttered by politicians or other explicitly partisan actors, such as Trump attorney Jay Sekulow. CNN's Wolf Blitzer and MSNBC's Lawrence O'Donnell were particularly keen on discussing the prospect of impeachment. The term appeared a whopping 34 times during the one hour the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Interestingly, journalists also mentioned impeachment 34 times on Blitzer's The Situation Room, but over the course of two hours, between 5 o'clock and 7 p.m. EDT. Voter poll, should Obama be arrested for illegally spying on Trump? It's quite possible that their own redundancy started to annoy the viewers. Which is why yet another phrase started to emerge as the day continued on. By the early afternoon, numerous pundits had begun, referring to the Mueller report as a roadmap for impeachment. CNN's Dana Bash used that catchphrase twice during the 12 o'clock p.m. EDT hour. What he did here, as Pamela just laid out, is a roadmap, a 10-episode roadmap for really serious consideration for impeachment. Hours later, MSNBC's Chris Hayes opened his show with the same terminology. It's like they're all reading from the same playbook, isn't it? Check out the video below where their words are used against them to expose the idiocy. The video is pretty damaging, as it really highlights the obvious attempt at redirection. Poll, do you want Trump to pardon Julian Assange? Luckily for them, not all of the Democrats are guilty of this sin of spin. Yes, every once in a while someone steps up and does the right thing. Because of this, we need to throw a bone to the congressional Democrats who had the good conscience to not jump on the impeachment wagon, as Newsbusters reported. For their part, congressional Democrats did not appear keen on discussing impeachment. The closest any member of that party came to actually endorsing the idea on Thursday was when House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler was asked about the option during a press conference, that's one possibility. There are others. So there are at least some Democrats who are operating in good conscience. Too bad they aren't the ones who run the fake news media. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comment box below. Related. Trump just got a 2020 challenger related, Ocasio-Cortez says she's done, vowed to give it up, you might like let's block ads. Why?